very, very humbling for me to be here with all of you today. And while the privilege to address all of you today is great, I believe that my ability to add meaningfully to this discussion is very small. And so I want to make just one point, because I don't believe that the people of this country, the United States of America, as yet understand exactly what it is that Israel faces today. What was this attack? What was it? Was it an attack on the state of Israel, an attack on Israelis? Yes, it was that. But that's not all. Was it an attack on the continual and perpetual Jewish presence in Jerusalem? It was that. But that's not all it was either. I submit to all of you that this was an attack on Judaism itself. Now, far be it for me and Rabbi Mustin Shul to pretend to tell any of you what Judaism is about. But I do believe that at its core, there are two very central concepts. First, the study of Torah. And secondly, the transmission of the study to future generations. The door, the door. And what is it that they do as the cause for Rav? That is all they do. They study the Torah and they transmit the study to future generations. The door, the door. Rav Rav is the purest representation of not what Israel is about, but of what Judaism is about. And that is what these attackers chose to kill. That is what they chose to do. And it is very important for America to understand that the impulse behind this attack was not territorial, it was not economic, it was not political. Let me repeat, it was not political. The impulse was eliminationist. The impulse was genocidal. The intent is to wipe out Judaism. That is what we saw this Maybe that message does not come across so clearly every time a Kassam lands in state road, because maybe that looks territorial to some people in our country. And maybe that message did not come across a year and a half ago when Katusha's landed on Kiryat Shmona, because maybe that looked political to some. Well, please, America, understand the message of this attack, because I can tell you they understood it full well in the radical Muslim street. They understand it full well in Libya, a member of the United Nations Security Council. But that isn't a sick joke. They understand it where all of our adversaries are. And it's about time that we understood it. 